Well, our military men and women battle every day on enemy lines, and for many who return wounded and battered, the love and support of family and community are what help rehabilitate them into a future that is awe-inspiring. And joining me this morning is Inspiration for Life founder Rita Hernandez and our inspirational Joel Saceda and retired Army veteran Ivan Antonio Valentin. Welcome, gentlemen. Hi, Rita. Welcome back. Good to see you all. See you. It's good to see you. Welcome see to Great Day Sunday. Sunday after yes. Sunday after Sunday, you bring us someone in the community who is inspiring uh, in unbelievable ways. And yet again, these two gentlemen yes. sit. Yeah. There's so many amazing people out there in San Antonio. And I love that we get nominations all the time. So it helps me kind of be everywhere all the time. So yes. um, I had Kathy Cardenas who actually nominated Joelle. And um, I'm really excited to for you to hear his story. Uh, well, I want to yes. hear your story. Tell me a little bit about what brings you here today. Well, Ivan Valentin brings me here. About a year ago, I met Ivan through a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. um, we both had cycling in common. Uh, what I did know was that Ivan was actually part of the Wounded Warrior yeah. alumni. Right. So he got me involved in cycling with these groups of men and women who come back from war mm -hmm. serving our country. And I just got so inspired by riding with them. Uh, I used to ride alone, but when I got to know these guys, they're just real people. Yeah. And so um, they inspired me so much that I got more and more involved. I uh, met the founder of Operation Comfort, Janice Rosnowski. Rosnas mm -hmm. And since I own a business here in San Antonio for almost 15 years, I've supported different organizations. I just felt like yeah. this was my organization. So this is really what uh, we have found is that as a person in the business community, you have said, how can I use my resources mm -hmm. and the goodness that has come to my business to do something exactly. to help these men and women who have served? Yes. How, what has it meant to you to be able to give back in this tremendous way, Joel? Well, it, it's... You know, it, it makes me feel really good yeah. because um, I really am so grateful to, for what they've done yes. for our country. You know, they've, they've done the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice. And being a military brat and being in the military myself for 10 years, I never served in battle. Mm -hmm. But um, I can just imagine what it's you know like, what it's like. For, for these guys, men and yes. women to come back uh, financially and, and, and emotionally. <coughs> they go through a lot of challenges with PTSD. I have a business on Fort Hood as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, there's a high suicide rate on yeah. Fort Hood. And so I, when I visit my businesses there, I see these men and women and I've got a, a big heart for them. Mm -hmm. So this is just an opportunity to be a part of them, to work with them. And yeah. my company, we're a marketing company, so we do some of their video and yeah. things like that. But we also raise money for them too through, through the products we sell and things like that. I want to ask you, Ivan, first of all, thank you for your, your service to this country and the ways that you have stepped out to, 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 to yeah. serve us. I want to know what it means to you as a uh, veteran to have this kind of support from someone who just wants to be of, of good service to you. Yeah. Well, it means a lot to me because uh, Joel, you know, not only, uh, you know, he, to me, he does this from the heart and all yeah. that, you know, mm -hmm. and um, it means a lot because, you know, these soldiers, you know, they, they need this, you know, um, and, and it helps them. Uh, and it also uh, it helps us uh, in many different ways, like um, getting out in the community and all that. So. It's uh, it, it's a great you know what he's doing for us is a great thing and uh, truly appreciate it. And jo Joel, can you explain the deer antler product and how the Super Bowl coverage has, <laughs> has helped you raise almost fourteen thousand dollars for Operation yeah. Comfort? But That's impressive. That was a blessing, and I and I have to thank uh, Ray Lewis uh, from the bottom of my heart for bringing it to to fruition and bringing it to light. But yeah, I'm I'm one of the biggest distributors of deer antler spray. And when the Super Bowl coverage hit, of course, we our sales increased. So it was about the time that I was working with Operation Comfort. And I said, well, let's create a campaign where every bottle we sell, we donate a portion of nice. it to, to them. So it, as we grow, they grow. Yeah. And that's our, our goal. And, and when you say Ray Lewis, you mean? The Super Bowl. You mean the Ray the Lewis. Bowl. Yes. <laughs> Don't you find, and, and I often find this with people who come and sit in this seat as a uh, the spotlight is on them for inspiration for life is that you do something and it is a snowball effect mm -hmm. whatever your good deed is it has an effect on somebody else who sees or hears that story sure. they pick up that baton and they run that's really the long-term benefit of this is it not a absolutely um, we, we do a lot of different things behind the scenes uh, with with the soldiers we started a series called Soldier Stories where we actually interview the soldiers and let them tell their story mm -hmm. and then they share it on their Facebook wall nice. and it brings more recognition to Operation Comfort. So that's the business I'm in. I'm in the business of internet marketing so I'm sharing that knowledge with, with this organization yes. because oh. Operation Comfort, they're very low-key. There's big organizations out there, I know, other Wounded Warrior projects, yes. but 
they're low key and they depend on people just hearing about it. Until you come on Great Day Sunday, yeah. and the world starts <laughs> to know. Right. How can we be of help? How can we help Operation Comfort? OperationComfort.org. Okay. And um, we're actually getting ready to go to London, Paris. I heard about week. that. And a so, ride in 2014. And then 2014, we're riding across Vietnam, oh, uh, raising nice. money for Vietnam vets who want to go back to Vietnam for closure. Oh, wow. So. That is tremendous. Let us know how that turns out. Thank you. And we'll have you back on. That's going to be important work <laughs> yes. you're doing. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You if so you much. know of an inspiring Appreciate story, it. you know somebody in the community who is inspiring someone else, we'd like you to nominate them for the Inspiration for Life series. There's the phone number that you can do that at 526-1415 or go to the website, inspirationforlife.org. Thank you, Rita, Joel, Ivan. Okay. Continued success. I <laughs> am good. Is that right? Yeah, Maybe we fluid. get some blessings here on a Sunday. So oh, thank yeah. you so much.